Greetings and we're delighted to be able to come to you today, spend a few moments in God's Word and share a few insights and pray together. And we believe that as we present the Word of God to you, that God Himself will cause this Word to become real in your life and mine. That it's not just, you know, some theology that we listen to and tune off after that, but the word we hear will produce in our lives will become real, will become our experience in daily living. Today, I want to remind us, as part of our understanding on mental health, that God can enhance our memory, that we have a sound memory. Bring, we go back to that same scripture in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, where Paul said that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. We said a sound mind has a sound concentration, a sound mind has a sound understanding, and a sound mind also has a sound memory, a good memory, an ability to recollect and retain uh, learning, knowledge, and information, a good memory. And that's important. You know, we need to have a good memory. And the Holy Spirit can empower us in this area. I understand that, you know, as we grow old, just as our body, you know, wears out, there is wear and tear. Uh, mentally as well, uh, you know, our, our mind, our, 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 our intellectual abilities uh, seem to have experienced wear and tear. But I want to encourage you and me to believe and receive what the Holy Spirit can empower or give to us. We know that our outward man, our body, uh, and our, our, our outward man is decaying. We know it's growing old, and I'm not denying that. But I'm saying that while that's happening, we can believe God for the empowering of the Holy Spirit, that the Spirit of God gives us a sound concentration, a sound understanding, and a sound memory, an ability to understand. You know, in John 14, verse 26, concerning the things that Jesus spoke to his disciples, he told them, he said, you know, the Holy Spirit will bring to your remembrance things that I've spoken to you. What was Jesus counting on? You know, they didn't have pen and paper to take notes. They didn't have anything to document all that Jesus said and did. You know, many of the, the apostles themselves were unschooled, uneducated men. But the, whole, but the Lord was depending on the Holy Spirit to bring to remembrance, to remind them, to stir up their memory so that they could remember the things that He had spoken, the things He had said and He had done in their minds. And surely the Holy Spirit can do that for you and me. So I want you to claim that for yourself. I have a sound mind, a sound concentration, a sound understanding and a sound memory. The Holy Spirit gives me power, love and a sound mind. My mental health is empowered by the Holy Spirit. My emotional well-being is empowered by the Spirit of God who prospers my mind, who restores my mind, who keeps my mind healthy. Let's make that our belief and our declaration. Let's pray. Father, thank you for blessing us with a sound mind, a sound memory, a sound concentration, and a sound understanding. May we walk in this day by day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.